Now, if you're trying to create kids' books, kids' storybooks, or any type of book of that nature, then creating covers can seem pretty daunting and pretty hard to do. Now, what I want to do in this video is share with you a Canva hack which will help you create covers so much faster and that look pretty good. Now, quick side note, we are still having our huge Black Friday sale where you can get all of our products at a ridiculously low price. Now, this will end on Wednesday, the 29th of November at 9 p.m. GMT. If you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. So, what I'm going to do is share with you this Canva hack on how you can create your book covers. In fact, it's how I took this just here, which is actually a Canva template, then modified it to make it my own. So, if you don't know, Canva actually has lots of different templates for lots of different things, and they have lots for all different types of book covers. Now, they do have free templates and paid templates, which are the pro version. Now, to know which is which, if we look here on this template, there's nothing down here in the right-hand corner. So, this would be free to use and you can use it on a free account. But if we look over here on this one, this has a little pro feature, which means you can only use this with Canva Pro. Now, if you want to try out a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro, there will be a link down in the description below. Now, what I'm going to do is just share with you a few different keywords that you can use to find all of these book covers that you can use, modify, and make your own. So the first one is Fairy Tale Book. If we come up to the search bar, type in fairy tale book, then come to see all just here, it's going to bring up all of the templates. And as you can see, they look really nice. Now, if you click on one of these, you're also going to get more options. You're going to see more similar templates related to the template that you clicked on. So if we look down here, we can see all of these templates. And again, they look pretty good. Now, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you also have all these different tags, which you can also click on. But if we scroll through this fairy tale templates, you can see just how many there are. But that's the first keyword, fairy tale book. The second being animal book. So if you come up to the search bar, type in animal book, come to see all, then you're going to get all of these templates. Now, you do also have some filters up here, which you can check out as well. You can also filter through category. But for this example, we're just going to scroll through these to see what they look. Again, if we find one which we like, we can click on that, and then look at all of the related templates. So, if you are trying to create kids' books, kids' storybooks, and you always struggle with creating the covers, then come through and check this out because using these templates is really going to speed up your creation process. But that's Animal Book. I have another one just here with Mermaid Books. So we type in Mermaid Book, come down to see all, and then we're going to get all of these templates. And lots of these ones look really great as well. Now, the last one which I want to share is Kids Adventure Books. So again, if you type that in the search bar, come down to see all, then you're going to get all of these templates. Now, I was scrolling through these. I think I scrolled down all the way to round about here. Where is it? Just here. And I found this one, which I really liked. So I clicked on here. Again, we can see all of related templates down below. But then if you've got one which you want to use, you click on customize this template, and then it's going to open it into a new tab. And this is where you can start modifying and making your own. Now, this is realistically only going to work if you already have all of the characters and all of the graphics for your book. If you don't have any of that yet, then that's what you need to sort out first, because you need all of your graphics that you're going to use within your book, throughout your book, and so on. You can get graphics like these from Creative Fabrica, or you can just create them yourself within Midjourney. But what I did was took this template and turned it into this. 
So let's just copy this for a second. I changed all the monsters for my own monsters. So I think I took one of these ones down here, which was this one. Then I put that on there. I moved it around a little bit like so. We could have that like that. I deleted this one. I deleted this one. Then let's go ahead and take this. Let's switch this around. But this is what I mean by creating and modifying these templates. You never want to use these templates as is. You just want to use them as a template. Now we could put that there like so. We could delete these bits. In fact, I believe I put some hearts up there. So let's go to the hearts just here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Move that over to there like so. Then copy that, put that over there. We could have this one here like that, make bigger, move that into the corner and move this around like that. Let's just make that a little bit smaller as well. Now, I believe I missed a monster. I think it was this one. So let's move this down, put that round about there, maybe make a little bit smaller like so. And then I started changing all of the background. So let's go ahead and change the color of the background to, I believe it was a darker purple like so. Then I changed this color as well to a lighter, more of a pink color. Same with this one. And now, as you can see, it's starting to look completely different from the original. I also changed the fonts by clicking on that coming up to here. I have lots of fonts anyway, but I used Ask Why. I believe I got that from Creative Fabrica. And I also used this baby marker as well, like so. But then I obviously changed the name to Cupid Creatures. Now let's just make that a little bit smaller and move that in like so. I also changed this font as well to this font just here. I made that bigger as well, like so. Same with this bit down here. I changed that font, changed that to black and obviously change the name. Now let's just make that bigger first and now let's change that name. Now with this background part just here, I also changed that to match up the colors with this monster. So let's go to the blue. I believe I changed that to purple like so. Same with that blue, I changed that to purple and then the background being green, which was this one just here. And then I changed the words to red so let's come up to here change that to there and there we go so you can see just how quickly and easy it can be using these templates to create your book covers now let's just make that bit a little bit bigger as well let's center that to round about there and same with this one so there we go we've gone from this template just here and we turned it into this so again, using templates is really going to speed up your book creation process if you're creating kids' storybooks. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click right here and watch this playlist.